Yeah. I mean, Rebecca Reed, this is a human rights issue now, surely. No, no, Why no, on earth, not. when there is no science, should Scots be legally enforced to cover something up? You would be outraged if people were being told to cover up any other part of their body by law. I would be outraged. I would think it was irritating. I think she is wrong. I think she is silly. It is not a human rights violation. Why not? Because I spent this up, because when I was asked this question earlier, I laughed for a bit and then I went and checked and I read what the actual human rights constitution says. And the only place I could find a window for this, and it's very tangential, is if you were considering it a form of torture. And I think if you're considering wearing a mask as a form of torture, a mask is. That is pathetic. I will not be called a snowflake by anybody who says that having to put a cheap bit of paper over their face is torture. Irritating, yes. I don't wear one anymore. I don't like wearing one. I won't unless I absolutely have to. But it's not torture. Will you try telling well, that on, to the folk who have panic attacks? What about time? freedom of expression? That's also covered under the Human Rights Act. I don't Surely know that, whether that, that is, works for this. I don't know whether wearing a mask is stopping you from expressing yourself freely. Well, that's well, it is. You can't see your mouth. You can't see your face. I'm not sure what they, that's what they mean by expression. Though. That's sort of that's political and religious affiliation. No, you're right? expressing your freedom to state that masks are not the silver bullet that stop COVID infections rising. I mean, well, I would also say that at any point, anybody was able to say, I'm exempt and I'm not wearing one. Well, and you were never. And there was always a rule that you never had to prove it, and nobody was allowed to challenge the you on that. The